Hi, welcome to this new episode. In this episode we'll be looking at making it so the enemy can actually take damage. Now we've already made the take damage class, so all we need to do is make it so they interact with the player and their projectile. So, let's open up our projectile first. And we're going to go to the collision component. And the component tag we're going to give this is player projectile. And that's all we're going to give it. And we're going to do that so that we can cast to take damage if it is the player's projectile. So we can make as many projectiles as we need for different types of ammunition. Give it that tag and then we'll be able to take damage from it. I'm also going to go to our enemy character now. And we're going to use a capsule component which we're going to call enemy we're going to put a tag on our capsule component as that's what we're going to be hitting as everything is a child of that capsule component and we have this on collision preset pawn which if we just take a look at what that means it means basically it blocks everything for collision so with our projectile here, we're going to set this to block all and on component hit, we're going to cast to see if this is an enemy. So we're going to get tag, sorry, has tag, and we're going to check if our other actor has the tag enemy. And we have to make sure we spell that correctly. If it is an enemy, then we want to then cast to that other actor. We want to cast to an enemy using this actor as the object reference and that enemy wants to take damage. So we need to put our enemy health class into our enemy which apparently we hadn't done. So we can then take damage enemy health and the current health we can get from the enemy get health the enemy character enemy character sorry is that and then the damage taken we can use a variable for our projectile which we'll just call damage which I'm going to use an integer for and we will place that in the damage taken. And now we're going to say each bullet inflicts 100 health. We'll go back to our enemy and make sure they start at 100 health. And now when we press play and we shoot out our enemy, they should lose health. So we didn't connect up that take damage. Okay. So we put the tag on the wrong bit, we need to do the enemy character self once, we need to do the top class of it. Search for the word tag and then just add that enemy tag. And we're going to do that for our projectile as well. So we'll search for the word tag and add player projectile. Just in case we ever need that. But as we're going to just cast to the first per the enemy, sorry from our projectiles to check if it is the enemy then we're just going to want to take damage we can also put that in our own enemy library so we're going to go to blueprints and create a blueprint function library which we'll call enemy library and i'm going to call this lib um, damage enemy and we'll take the code that we've put in from here. So I'm going to control X to cut, control V to paste. And we'll have an input here of other actor, which will use a character reference. And we'll also take our damage reference, which will be an integer. And just double click that line to be able to move it down. 
Then we can go back to our first person projectile and put damage enemy, enemy library, using this other actor as our other actor. So it doesn't like the word character, so we're going to change that to actor. And then use damage as our damage input. So that just saves every projectile having to have that code in and instead we're just going to keep it in this library because we're going to have to use this for things like grenades and all that anyway. We're going to want an easy way to just cast the enemy to take damage. So now to make sure all that works we'll just go in and shoot our enemy and as you can see the enemy has died. And what we're going to do is if that was true and we did hit well, if we hit anything really, we're going to just destroy actor. And we're going to target ourselves, and we're going to do that on false as well. So that when the enemy dies, our bullet disappears. So, now we have some interactivity in our game where the player can attack the enemy and the enemy can attack and follow the player. In the next video we'll hook up some widgets and some actual game states so we have a health bar which the enemy can damage our player with so that they are more of a threat. So stick around if you want to see that and thanks for watching the video. Give it a like if you did, a dislike if you didn't, subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys.